Hey guys, welcome back to Sabres Forever. I'm John, and today we're gonna to be going over the KR Sabres TFU2. This thing is jam-packed with all the goodness of ease of use and high-tech components and just sheer beautiful finishes and oh, I love this lightsaber. I think I need to get one. So without further ado, why don't we just jump right in and I'll show you exactly what's going on. All right, so this is the KR Sabres uh, TFU2 and uh, this has the brass pieces on here. They are <laughs> absolutely gorgeous. This saber uh, was a real pleasure because I, I got to weather it. So, I mean, the overall finish uh, is my doing. Really happy with the way this came out. Uh, this is all just aluminum black and brass black and then polishing. And this is a black leather wrap that I found online. Uh, just roughed it up with a knife, <laughs> got it worn to match the saber. The only thing is I didn't want to mess up this red anodizing, so this is a little a little more bright and shiny than I'd like it, but um, get great tactile sensation. That's the only switch on this saber. Uh, this is actually just decorative. Um, so it's a single button saber, but it's a completely removable chassis. So let's show that. This is so cool. So it just opens from the middle. And the chassis just completely slides right out. There's nothing left in the saber. It's just completely empty. This is uh, spring loaded, by the way, this switch. So that's really, really, really wonderful. Um, but the saber is really uh, something special because there's so much room inside. They include a 21700 with a 5,000 milliamp battery storage. So <laughs> this saber will not die. Um, it's got a stock MPXL eco connector, two accent crystals with neopixels, and uh, a 28 millimeter bass speaker along with a high amp kill switch. So this thing's loaded and it has to top it off a Profi V2.2. And this is held on kinetically and magnetically. So oops, upside down. Put the top in first like that and then push the bottom in and it should work just great. Um, but once this is on, flip the switch to the right. Um, we have a star killer font on here, but just line up the switch, your, your single tactile switch right there, and your crystals which light up. Really great. But slide your, line up your switch with your plunger, and there's a track system, so that just goes right in like that. This goes right on like this. Twist it on. And you're good to go. Now you can use the button. Or you can use gestures. So twist on, twist off. Ooh, I get to try out my new demo blade. Yay. So this goes in, maybe, <laughs> like that. And then your blade retention screw is right here. I need to get my little. Whoops. Tighten this down. And then now, yeah, switch works. Really cool. Uh, I love that. <laughs> so nice little addition. I get to show you guys the blade in partially. Um, loosen your blade retention screw, pull your blade out you're good to go. So blade can go in in any direction. Um, the Sabre has multiple fonts so you can just uh, switch through by holding the power for a second. It's also very loud, but you can switch the audio, or I'm sorry, the font. The force is with you, young Skywalker. But you are not a Jedi yet. Just by holding the power for one second and releasing. Um, tapping it turns it on, holding it, turns it off. It's so loud. Um, tapping it on, will, while it's on, will have, you'll get the blaster effects. So yeah, 
All the bells and whistles. It is a gorgeous saber. Uh, it feels really good in the hand. It is big. I have big hands, and it is a big saber, but I really enjoy it a lot. And it's at a great price on the saberarmory.com. So definitely worth checking out. If you guys want an install of one of these, they have an eco that's a little bit cheaper. Um, I mean, you can't go wrong. <laughs> this thing is, it's too cool. I mean, it's so easy to use and it goes together so snugly and it looks amazing. I mean, even the clean version is really sexy, but I love me some good weathering. So anyways, that does it for this video. Let's just uh, wrap it up. All right, guys, that does it for this video. If you like what you see and you want to see more, make sure to like and subscribe to see more awesome sabers just like this one. Um, you're not going to want to miss out on some of the content that's going to be pushed in the near future because it's pretty great. Um, but yeah, if you're looking to get anything installed on my bench, maybe you'll be able to see it on YouTube, uh, please reach out at john at sabersforever.com. I'd be happy to answer any inquiries that you have, you know, maybe help with programming or whatever you got going on. Just let me know. I'm happy to help. And then if you are looking to see any past builds, YouTube's the best place and pricing would be my website at www.saversforever.com. You can check out all the pricing for commissions and just general installs that I've done in the past there. So until the next time, may the force be with you.